If you like Emma Roberts, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. Am I gonna get asked to prom? <laughs> Plus, I haven't gotten my period in like two months, which is really weird because I've mostly just been doing anal. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Palo Alto, 2013. Do you think you can babysit Michael on Saturday? I have a date. Um, yeah, I'm, I, can, I can babysit on Saturday. Palo Alto is a drama film written and directed by Gaia Coppola and stars James Franco, Emma Roberts, Jack Kilmer, and Nat Wolf. Raised in an environment where they get to less attention and don't see sense behind the decisions they make in life, a group of teens finds themselves drawn to casualties like rebellious behavior and ruthless sex. But when confronted with the human being you want to be, everyone must decide for themselves where life is taking them. I think you should play striker. You know, it's a lot of responsibility, a lot of pressure, but you look really good out there, so. <laughs> Thanks. Great. So I'll... I'll see you Saturday. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Number nine. Ashby, 2015. Every time I try to hate you, you say something that makes me know we're meant to be together. <sighs> you really fucking hurt me. Ashby is a comedy drama film written and directed by Tony McNamara and stars Mickey Rourke, Nat Wolf, Emma Roberts, and Sarah Silverman. Offering a rather different turn on the coming-of-age genre, Ashby finds a teenager struggling to find a father figure moving to a small town. But surprisingly, life there isn't as boring as predicted. After meeting a former CIA assassin, he may finally find what he craved for so long. But is a hitman really the best companion for a young boy? As my gift, I brought Ashby because I knew you wanted to look at his brain. You know how to treat a girl. Bring him in. Number eight. Nerve, 2016. I'm kissing that guy. Okay, you sit here. Tell me when you're rolling, okay? Okay, is this Mission Impossible now? Nerve is a techno-thriller adventure film directed by Henry Joost and Ariel Shulman and stars Emma Roberts, Dave Franco, and Juliette Lewis. Exploring the danger of modern technologies and the impact of social media on our behavior, Nerve finds a bored teenage girl playing a game of digital truth or dare without the truth in reward for cash. But when the game becomes serious and the dares reach an adrenaline-fueled hell ride, her entire future could be sentenced by her digital companions. Stop, stop, stop. Well, please tell me these are our clothes. They kind of are. Are these stolen? Um, receipt. Number seven. The Hunt, 2020. I can't use that. Can you do this? Yeah. You can squeeze the trigger there. Take it. The Hunt is a 2020 horror thriller film directed by Craig Zobel and stars Betty Gilpin, Ike Barinholtz, Amy Madigan, Emma Roberts, and Hilary Swank. Combining smartly written social satire with sarcastic and darkly humored splatter action, The Hunt finds 12 strangers in a clearing. Not knowing where they are or how they got there, they soon find themselves hunted for sport. But if one of them manages to turn the tables, they might get a chance. Hey, let me show you. Safety, you're gonna slick you ready to party, okay? Thanks. You're welcome. What was that? I think that was a rifle. Number six. The Art of Getting By, 2011. What happened? I don't know. You know, George, he's complicated, I guess. The Art of Getting By is a romantic comedy drama film directed by Gavin Wyson and stars Freddie Highmore, Emma Roberts, Michael Angarano, and Elizabeth Reeser. Finding sense is difficult in all of that we call life, especially for teens. Ignoring most of his duties, as well as avoiding contact with his parents, philosophy-loving student George sees his future in danger due to his attitude. But all that changes when he meets Sally, with whom he immediately falls in love. I'm not sure he's the real deal. Really? He seemed like it to me. I mean, he's a mentor to you now. Aren't you psyched? I think he's a bit of a blowhard. <laughs> You're so weird. Did he say anything about me? 
Nope. Number five. Celeste and Jesse, Forever, 2012. Do you guys have any snacks? Like sushi? Celeste and Jesse Forever is a romantic comedy drama film directed by Lee Toland Krieger and stars Rashinda Jones, Andy Samberg, Elijah Wood, and Emma Roberts. Following the heartbreaking and warming premise of its title, Celeste and Jesse Forever is a tale of young love that grows old and sadly slowly apart. Now unhappily married, the young lovers are not sure about their future and life goals. As the possibility of a divorce sinks in, the two must finally figure out where their childhood years are going. It's regimen. What? Uh, regime is a, is a system of government, the word is, word's regimen. Oh, thanks Scrabble. It's really nice to meet you. Number four. Lime Life, 2008. All right, first things first. You never apologize for telling your dillweed friends that you fingered me, you know. Lime Life is a comedy drama film directed by Derek Martini and stars Alec Baldwin, Rory Culkin, Kieran Culkin, and Emma Roberts. In this cynical small town tale, you can literally see a whole village go insane as absurdity rises in their daily lives. In 1979, a hapless husband is diagnosed with Lyme disease. Now his wife is attempting a new job under the womanizing neighbor. As tensions between the fronts of jealousy rise, the teenage kids must maintain their sanity. I dare you to close your eyes. Come to me when I am okay. okay. What do you think? Number three. Blow, 2001. You know I can't. Mom will never let me go. You let me take care of your mother. You just pack your bag, okay? Blow is a 2001 biographical crime film directed by Ted Dem and stars Johnny Depp, Emma Roberts, and Penelope Cruz. It is based on the real-life story of how George Young, along with the Medellin cartel, headed by Pablo Escobar, established the American cocaine market in the 1970s. As we follow him through his life dealing with marijuana and cocaine, we witness the dark and depressing consequences one has to go through when choosing this life, mostly because it is about choosing one life over another. Three o'clock Thursday at your mother's, you and me, huh? It's a date. I don't believe you. I swear on my life, Scouts Honor. I swear on my life. Number two. We're the Millers, 2013. Now this time, I want you to choke me a little bit. Uh, okay. Whoa! What's going on here? Uh, it's... We're the Millers is a 2013 American crime comedy film directed by Rawson M. Thurber and stars Jason Sudeikis, Jennifer Aniston, Emma Roberts, Will Poulter, and Ed Helms. Dealing drugs is a hard business, especially when you're dumb. For David, every way out vanishes when his debt and stupidity force him to go to Mexico and pick up a drug kingpin's latest shipment. The plan. To not fall under the radar, he builds a fake family in disguise to pretend they're on family vacation. Whoa! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get a picture of you with the first girl you ever kissed. There you go. Mm-hmm. Make it a good one. Good. Rose, get in there. There you go. Photo bomb it. This is getting better. It's getting better. Okay. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Do you want to play a game? What are you thinking? Maybe something where you can score for a change? Okay, look. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I live with my grandmother. Yeah. She watches Jeopardy every night and goes to bed at 8 o'clock. So? I need something to do. We all do. You're actually lucky that you don't have it. It's called popularity. Mm. Hey, get up. Wait for Mrs. Kingsley and the prefects. Screw them. <laughs> that is physical abuse. I'm calling my lawyer. With what? <laughs> Number one. It's kind of a funny story, 2010. You're not some sort of school uniform perv, are you? You guys wear uniforms? I knew it. 
It's Kind of a Funny Story is a comedy-drama film directed by Anna Bowden and Ryan Fleck and stars Keir Gilchrist, Emma Roberts, Viola Davis, Lauren Graham, Zoe Kravitz, and Zach Galifianakis. This admirable story of youth, craziness, and loneliness follows a stressed-out teenager who wants to spend five days in a mental hospital for his own good. But since the teenage wing is closed, he must spend his time with adults only. Quickly finding a mentor and father figure, he also befriends with a fellow teen girl he falls in love with. If you're not busy being born, you're busy dying. And I, I for one, think that we could both benefit from being born again. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.